This is the book of Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. And it reads, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn. All right. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give uh, peace and greetings and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash, you know, uh, Adon Ratazah. You know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. You know, my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash, is going to be based on this, on this precept right here, Proverbs 29 and verse 2. I'm going to read it again. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. All right. And the people is going to eventually rejoice all right, when the kingdom of heaven is set up. All right. When our Lord Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, all right, when he comes back all right, and set up a righteous kingdom, while take, he's going to take down the wicked, you know, then he's going to set up a righteous kingdom. He's going to gather the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, the nation of Israel, all you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right, we are the true Hebrew Israelites, all right, according to the Bible. All right, we are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. And the Lord, he said he's going to come back as it is written to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, all right. And through the Lord, you know, conquering the earth, all right, and putting down his enemies, all right, these other nations, starting with Esau, Edom, the earth is going to rejoice, all right. So let's get some proof, some precepts on the first part of that scripture, all right. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse, I'll start at verse one. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So the Lord, he's going to have mercy on his people. All right. The 12 tribes. All right, because the kingdom was split into two after the King Solomon. Jeroboam took the uh, northern kingdom and Rehoboam, which was Solomon's son, he took the southern kingdom. All right. But now the Lord said he's going to bring us back together. All right. He's going to build up the tabernacle of David that, that has fallen. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So the Lord's going to gather us from where we was from. He's going to gather the elect from where they were scattered. And he's going to bring the elect back in their own land. And, the, and two thirds that die here in America, they're going to come back through the elect and the other Israelites that die. All right. All right. All right. That, that perish all right, because it's going to be a World War Three. Right, the Lord's going to judge the whole earth. Right, a lot of people are going to die. Not it. Not everybody. They're gonna die, but a lot of people are gonna die. All right, and the Lord said He gonna He gonna bring the elect back through their lands, and all right, and the ones of our people that die on this side, they gonna have to come back through the elect, man, in reincarnation. It says, "And the strangers shall be joined with them," talking about the Israelite foreigners, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse two, it says, "And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids." That's these other nations. All right. All right, we're going to have them as our slaves in the kingdom of heaven, man. They're going to be our servants and our handmaids. It says, and they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to be ruling over the ones who are oppressing us right now. Starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and his, old na his whole nation, and, and also these other heathens, man. All right, verse 3. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard abundance wherein thou was made to serve. All right, so we're going to rejoice because we ain't going to be at the bottom no more. We're going to be at the top. All right, and these other nations, they're going to serve us a thousand years, but eventually they're going to get back their land. Talk about, talk about these other nations, except the nation of Edom, because while the Lord said he's going to devour the whole nation of Edom by fire. All right, Obadiah verse 18. All right, so the Lord said he's going to give us rest from, the, from our sorrow, from that fear, from the hard abundance wherein thou was made to serve. Verse 4, and thou, shalt take, so, and thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how has the oppressor ceased the golden city cease? All right, 
talking start mainly talking about you know these elites all right because america is just controlled man biden is just a puppet man all right the lord gonna destroy this place with 200 million nuclear warheads it says and the lord saw so the lord has broken a staff for the wicked and the scepter of the rulers all right because the lord said the wicked is the wicked the earth is given to the head of the wicked all right so the lord's gonna break the staff of the wicked he gonna break them down all right all right verse six <coughs> so like it says he who smote the people in wrath with a continuous scroll he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth all right because esau he smote the whole world verse seven because america is the hammer of the whole earth verse seven the whole earth is at rest and is quiet they break forth into singing the whole earth yea the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedar woods so in the cedars of lebanon saying since thou art so since thou art laid down no fellas come up against us yeah the trees gonna rejoice all right because why well, they ain't gonna be chopped down what the fuck what, so like it call it uh de deforestation all right all right deforestation all right let's get that Yeah, because Isaiah 14, that's a that's a beautiful chapter. Revelation. Chapter 12. Yeah, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. No, Revelation chapter. Bear with me. That's another one. them revelation 11 so like you revelation chapter 11 verse 18 <laughs> revelation chapter 11 verse 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come in the time of the sight in that in the time of the dead that they should be judged and thou should give reward unto thy servants the prophets so the lord's gonna give reward unto his servants the prophets and to the saints who are the saints the israelites and to them that fear thy name small and great and should it destroy them which destroy the earth so the lord's going to destroy them which destroyed the earth all right and the earth is going to be in new rulership man revelation chapter 21 and verse 1 and i saw a new heaven and a new earth all right because the earth is going the earth is going to be refreshed all right all right and then we're going to be ruling all right on earth all right a new rulership says for, for the first heaven is so for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea all right going into the people verse two and i and i john saw the holy city new jerusalem all right which jerusalem is the people before is the place coming down from Ye from yahweh out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband so the john the revelator on the island of patmos he's seeing the elect when they got beamed up in, in a so-called ufo in the chariots all right and they saw the destruction I, of a Babylon and different parts of the earth, that land of Israel. All right, he saw them coming down from off the chariots. All right, conquering about to conquer the earth, as it says in what uh, uh, Revelation the sixth chapter. All right, Yahweh came forth conquering because the Lord He's going to take over the earth. And Daniel the seventh chapter is tell you how the Most High Yahweh gave uh, Yahweh all power and all glory that all nations, languages, and tongues should serve Him. And his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. So this is, all right, this is John the Revelator seeing the beginning of that, seeing, seeing the new Jerusalem, it, the elect coming down. Verse 4, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High, Yahweh Bashimasha, is with men, because the Lord is dealing with men. And he would dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power. Verse four, and Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. All right, starting with Israel, man. This is yeah for, for Israel, man, because Lord said He's gonna give us rest from our sorrow, man. All right. It says, and, and Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Yeah, this talk. This how you know it's talking about Israel, because the Lord He gonna put the law, statute, commandments on our inward part, and we never gonna sin again. 
There shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. And he's, he that it's like he that sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, right, for these things are true and faithful. So this is all right, when we going to be rejoicing, man. All right, and the earth is going to re re rejoice. Why? Because it's going to be a new rulership. All right. All right. Let's get that. Sirach 10. Just like it. Sirach chapter 10 and verse 1. It says a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And the, the prudent man I, that's going to ultimately I, have leadership and, and dominion is our Lord Yahweh, which is the throne of David is going to be set up. All, the throne of David is going to be set up, which King David is going to reign now. All right. Verse. Uh, actually, let me let me go to this. This is beautiful. I'm going to just I'm going to just tie this in with the Proverbs 21, 29. And I'm going to just read the whole thing and I'm going to segue into that, into that. So Proverbs 29 and verse two, it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So the people are mourning right now. All right. So we we know when the righteous <coughs> bears rule, the people they gonna re rejoice. Why? Because the earth is not gonna be polluted. All right. All right. The 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 law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shemashah is gonna go forth throughout the earth. All right. All right. Women gonna be in the order. The 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 the, the animals of the sea. All right. The the unlawful animals that you're not gonna eat. They gonna they gonna be in their proper. All right. The proper, what they say, ecosystem, ecosystem. They don't mean that proper, the way the Lord made them, man. All right. Squids, crabs, lobsters, you know, shrimps, you know, they're going to have their, in their habitat, man. Cleaning the earth. Esau, he takes them out of the earth and this and this destroys, man. He, and he makes a delicacy, man. He's just, he's just wicked, man. There ain't going to be no abortion, no sodomy, none of that, man. No unrighteous decrees, all right? Because that's why the that's why I the people are mourning, all right? All right? So like it. It's just when you meditate on this shit, is like Esau already destroyed the earth. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 1, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Verse 2, as the judge of the people is as the judge of the people is is himself, so are his officers, all right? All right, and what manner of man the the ruler of the city of the city is? Such are all they that dwell therein. And what the Lord said, a couple precepts. I've been bringing this out lately, a lot lately. Jeremiah chapter thirty, in verse. See, this whole thing goes hard. You can start at verse sixteen. All that it devoured, it shall be devoured. I'm going to read this place real quick. This is one of my favorite. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all that devoured, it shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. They that spoil thee shall be spoiled, and, so, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All right, so the little, this is Lord's, you know, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right, they got to pay for what they did. But I'm going to jump down to the point because it said, as the ruler of the city is, so is his officers. This is the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse um, 20. Their children also shall be as a fourth time, and their, con and their congregation shall be established before me. All right, he's talking about the Lord, you know, us Israelites in the kingdom of heaven. All right. It says, and I will punish all that oppress them, and their nobles shall be of themselves. All right. Which we going to all be righteous. And the script said, "We're not gonna be. We're not gonna uh, teach one another because we all sh we all gonna know the Lord from the smallest to the greatest. All right, our 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 nation's gonna be well ordered because why? We gonna have a law such commandments our inner parts. It says that nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. Who is this that engages his heart to approach unto me? Saith the Lord." And ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. You know, so the, the point was, that our governors shall be, shall proceed from the midst of them. All right, this is um, 
Isaiah. I believe it's chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And this is how you know he's talking about Yahweh Shai. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and the peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. So this going into, he said, the government shall proceed from them going to our Lord, Yahweh Shah, right, which, like I said, the throne of David is going to be set up. King David is going to be ruling on earth, man. All right. That, that tabernacle of David, man. All right. Another precept. I think it's Isaiah. I haven't seen this precept in a while. I believe it's the first chapter or the second chapter. Bear with me. I'm going to look for it right quick. Yeah, con. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 25. And I will turn my hand upon thee and, and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin and I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counselors as at the beginning afterwards thou shalt be called the city of righteousness the faithful city so our people are going to be righteous and we're going to be called that, that faithful city that, for, that faithful uh, city Isaiah chapter 60 in verse cuz they they going to come to us man they going these other nations they going to give the scripture talk about the forces of the gentiles man they going to come willingly giving gifts all right they going to give us they going to hey man we going to be on another level man if they don't, we're going to put the foot in their ass, man. Isaiah chapter 60. So like Isaiah chapter 60 in verse 21. It says, thy people also shall be all righteous. All right. So our people are going to be righteous as officers. So as the governor, as the ruler, so is the officer. We're going to be, it's going to be righteous. So that righteous vibration is going to go throughout the whole earth, man. Thy people also shall all be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planning, the work of my hands that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand. So a man, he's going to have multiple wives. And he's going to have hundreds, thousands. Say, a one shall become a thousand. So he's going to have thousands. Of, he's going to have a, a thousands of children, man. Even more than that. Because what? We're going to live forever. And a small one, a great, a strong nation. And I will hasten it in its time. Because why? Look at, look at, um, so like, look at, um, after Noah, all right, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, they repopulated earth. I right, one of the, like there was three sons. Out of three sons come billions of people. You know, and the chosen line was uh, with Shem. You know, it went on down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then you got you got these Hamites, which they came from sons of Ham. They're big nations. All right, then you got a uh, Japheth. All right, which is those Pacific Islanders. They're a huge nation. All right. And that's the only with three, there are three, three sons. Imagine how Israel, Lord said, we're going to be at the center of the seas and in the, in the stars of heaven, man. <laughs> you know, so uh, let me read that Sirach again, you know, so I don't get off topic. Now I got another precept for that. This is the book of Sirach chapter 10, verse two. As the judge of the people is himself, so is his officers. And as the manner of a man, so in, in what manner of man, the ruler of the city is. Such are all they that dwell therein. So I got another precept for that. It's a book of um, first fruits. Fruits in their order. See the birds twerk, singing. You know, this is going to be beautiful in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. First fruits. Probably one word. Was going to set up that order. First Corinthians chapter. 
15 and verse, I started verse 22. For as in Adam all died, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. Talking about our Lord Yahweh all right? Because Yahweh, because uh, you know, which he was Yahweh as Adam fell, all right? And through him going off, you know, all right, the Lord started decreasing the time that, that men live, all right? All right, but now through this through the Lord's sacrifice, all right, he made things he made things right again, you know, th between the nation of Israel and, and the most high. So what we're gonna live, we made it alive, all right, we're gonna live forever, man. All right. He first he made us alive by you know giving them his word, you know, spiritually. But hey, we're gonna live forever. Verse 23 this is the point it says, But every man in his own order, Hamashiach, Yahushai, the first fruits. All right, so the elect, one hundred forty-four thousand. All right, for what you got, you got, yeah, Yahushai, King David, the twelve, one hundred forty-four thousand. Afterwards, they that are Hamashiach as his at his coming, at his coming. So like, verse fourteen. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the Most High, even the Father, when he shall have put down. All rule and all authority and power. And Apostle Gabar always bring this out. Well, he brings it out often. He says, For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his foot. The last enemies that shall be destroyed is death. All right. So the Lord, he conquered death, you know. And what? Through his sacrifice, hey, we overcoming, we overcoming, I, 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 the death and the Lord ultimately he's going to deliver us man alright so the, he going to put everything under his foot alright the Lord he going to have all power and all dominion and you know I just burnt every man in his order Hamash out the first fruits alright that's the elect you know just to prove that point Sirach chapter 10 verse 2 as the judge of the people is himself so is his officers and what men are men the root of city is such are all they that dwell therein alright so hey we shall all be righteous. I, Jerusalem shall be a praise in the earth. All right, the Lord said He's going to establish our, 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 um, you know, our, our governors as of four time. Verse four, it says, <coughs> "The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, because the Lord, what He He ruled in the kingdom of men. All right, he sets up one kingdom, He bring it down. All right. So uh, Psalm seventy five says, promotion coming in." The, East, from the east nor the west, but the most high he set it up kings and bring them down, man. All right, that's how the Lord ruled. All right. He set up the bases of men, which is Esau, Edom. The wicked, that's why the earth is defiled right now. But the Lord said the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he was set over it one that is profitable. Talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai. In the hand of the Most High is prosperity of men, and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor. All right, I'm going to jump down to verse um, 8. It says, Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the seat, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right, and that's going to ultimately happen. All right, we're seeing the transitioning right now because the Lord said he's going to give us his word and we're going to stand up on our feet like a great army. All right, which we not a we not a, a army that's going to take up arms and go against this, this government. Nah, Yahweh Bashima Shai gonna give us that power. Alright. And when he comes he's in, in during his time, he's gonna set up the standard. And ultimately, alright, the earth is gonna be translated, alright, when we alright be delivered, man. We out here to break chant this place down, you know, by by the by speaking. And then the Lord said he's gonna destroy with the brighter brightness of his coming, man. All right. So, Lord, one in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Jerubel. And I want to give uh, peace and greetings and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. And Shalom, Akim. Keep pushing. Keep it going. Shalom.